What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the 10,000 tactical short. Now I've been rocking these for a few months now and I will say I have noticed a few distinct differences with this model when it comes to performance and sizing and fit compared to the core shorts. I have compared all the core shorts to so the interval, foundation, and session short in a video. I'll link that up there. But let's dive into what I like about this model. The first aspect I like is the overall durability. So I'm a barbell athlete. I compete recreationally in powerlifting. So I love the ripstop shell of these shorts. I think it does a really good job at resisting abrasion. Like these shorts, you can literally tell like there's not really much friction on the front portion of these shorts, despite having a barbell drag up them here and there when I'm deadlifting. The second aspect I like about this model is the every session carry pocket system. So basically both sides of the pockets on the short have a zip system, keeps your valuables really secure. So if you are somebody who wants to put their key fob, their keys, some cards, their phone in their pocket, you can zip them up and be pretty secure in the short. And that's really clutch for folks who are out using these when they're hiking and stuff, which I've used them for before. So I do like that aspect about the short. The third thing that I like about this model is that they have a built-in liner and the waistband is super thick. So if you're worried about durability and security with a waistband, you're not really gonna have to worry about that in the tactical short. Plus, I'm a fan of built-in liners and shorts. I think it helps limit how much material we need to bring with us in our gym bag or just have on us on a daily basis. Plus, I do think that the shell and the liner of these shorts work really well. They never really get hung up on the thighs that badly. But now let's talk about a couple of cons I have noticed with the short. So two cons I have with the short is number one, the price. $72 USD for this pair of shorts. That is not cost efficient whatsoever. And personally, I do find that to be pretty expensive. However, I do think if you have some niche asks, plus if you like doing rucking style activities, which this is what that short was designed for because they did collaborate with the US Special Operations Forces to build the short, then I could see that price point being worth it for you. The second con I have with this pair of shorts is the sizing. So in the foundation interval and session short, I wear a medium. In this short, the mediums, it's choking my thighs a little bit and it's like a little bit uncomfortable. Now I will say this is a large and the waistband isn't the tightest or most snug, but when I pull the drawstring tight, it is just fine. But I did have to size up to a large in this model and the sizing is not consistent with this short and the interval foundation and session short. So to give you a scope of my measurements, I have a 33 inch waist, 38 inch girth around the maximal part of my glute, so going around my full hip, and then 23 and a half inch mid thigh. So if you are on the fence of what size to get, maybe you can reference my references and compare them to where you're at, and then you could size up to a medium or large based on what your needs are. Now, let's talk about the performance of the short because I think that will help you understand if this short is gonna be worth it when it comes to the price point for your needs. So when it comes to performance, I'm gonna talk about three different aspects in this pair of shorts. Number one is more of our formal lifting setting. Number two is gonna be versatile training. So this will include agility work, plyometric work, even going for a swim in these shorts. And then number three is gonna be day-to-day -day wear, shorter slash medium range runs and rucking style activities slash hiking in my case. So from a lifting point of view, I really do enjoy this pair of shorts when it comes to their overall durability. I like that the waistband is thick. I like that the drawstring is on the inside of the waistband. So it doesn't have that outward facing like board short waistband and the foundation short. So if you are doing things where the interior portion of the body might be having friction on the ground or another object, these don't come undone. Plus I think the ripstop shell, as mentioned in the pros, does a really good job at resisting abrasion and friction, especially from a barbell. Now I will say these shorts do come in a five inch and seven inch inseam. And if you are getting a five inch inseam, then you're probably not gonna have to worry too much about friction on these shorts because with a shorter short, you're not gonna necessarily have a lot of barbell contact unless you do have a much higher pull in the clean. But now in regard to versatile training, I think this short does a pretty good job once again with accommodating this style of training. So when I talk about versatility, I'm talking about a short that is mobile and maneuverable and lightweight across all fronts of movement. So when it comes to plyometrics and agility work, I like the side slit down here in the side of the shorts. I think it adds a lot to the mobility of this short and how lightweight they feel. Plus the overall shell weight sits at around 139 GSM, which is pretty dang lightweight for a shell. And overall, the material does dry pretty quickly. So for example, I wore this pair of shorts on a hike in San Diego when we went on vacation two weeks ago. I took a dip into a stream on that hike 
And these shorts dried in about 15 to 20 minutes. Now there was some dampness towards the crotch, but overall they were pretty dang dry after I got out of that stream. And mind you, the stream, the stream was really cold. It was not a pleasant experience. But that all being said, if you wanna wear these shorts for water training and you want a short that is durable to accommodate that style of need, then I do think this model will be pretty good for that ask. Now on a day-to-day -day basis and rucking and shorter run basis, I think this model does a pretty good job. Now I will say, on a day-to-day -day basis, if you don't like having a liner in your pair of shorts, that could be something to consider because once again, there is a built-in liner with this pair. So if you just want a comfortable, lighter shelled short that doesn't have a liner, this might not be your best bet. And on a shorter run basis, once again, I like this pair of shorts because they are once again very maneuverable and lightweight, but also the double zipped pockets help keep your belongings really secure. So when I go for a run, I always have my phone and keys on me and these pockets do a really good job at keeping those secure from bouncing out. I have lost a phone on the interval shorts when it slid out and I had to like circle back and go grab it. So that is something that I do like about this pair of shorts. And then on a rucking style basis, I do not do rucking as a form of activity. However, I have worn these on a few hikes with a backpack with water bottles and whatnot. Not nearly as cool as US Special Operations Forces folks who are training in that manner. But if it provides any context, I think this pair of shorts does a really good job for that style of ass because once again, they dry really well, they're maneuverable, the waistband is secure, and if there is any friction for longer duration wear, I don't think these are gonna break down anytime soon. But now, let's go over sizing and fit once again for the 10,000 tactical short. So for this pair of shorts, I had to size up to a size large. Once again, and I wear a medium and foundation interval and session shorts, but the set and tactical short, which are the pro line by 10,000, I have to wear a large end, and I'm not sure why that is, but there is a little bit of inconsistency there. And when I compare the set and the tactical short, we'll talk more on that. And when I do my set short review in the next couple of weeks, we will dive into that. But again, for some measurements, I have a 33 inch waistband, I have a 38 inch hip girth, and then at the midpoint of my thigh, it's around 23 and a half inches. Now, hopefully that can give you some indication as to what size might be best for your needs. But also I have done a try on video. I'm gonna link that up there. So check that out if you're interested in other 10,000 gear. But overall with the sizing and fit of the short, it isn't very consistent with the other core shorts you might've already worn and you may have to size up in the tactical short. So we've touched on price already, but for this pair of shorts, you can expect to pay around $72 USD. Now the question is, is, is that worth it? Personally, I think if you are looking for a more budget efficient short, look at some of the other shorts if you don't have very specific niche asks that would require some of the construction features that come along with the tactical short. A comparable comparison for more of a budget friendly option could be the interval short in this case. Do note that it is still gonna be pretty pricey, so you're not necessarily saving a ton of money by looking at that option compared to the tactical short. But I do think this short could be worth it if you have the niche asks for the construction that come along with the tactical short. Plus, over the last few months, despite having a fair amount of friction on the front side of these shorts, I haven't noticed any breakdown issues. So if you're worried about durability, I don't necessarily think that's gonna be a big concern with this pair of shorts. So I consider this pair of shorts more of an investment versus just like a, I'm buying this pair this month. And then this, like, I don't have the kind of money like that. So I think of them as investment. And if that helps you kind of framework your mentality towards this pair of shorts, and if you should buy them, hopefully that helps. All right, guys, that wraps up my review of the 10,000 Tactical Short. I love 10,000 gear, but I'm actually not sold on the short being for everyone. I think if you don't really have a need for the niche construction aspects of the short, then you could look at other options that 10,000 offers that might save you a couple of dollaroos. The interval and foundation short are both options I would say explore. Interval for versatility, foundation for a bit more of durability, especially from a barbell focused standpoint. But overall guys, I can't really fault the performance or durability of this short. So if you do decide to get a pair, think about them as an investment for your training and for your lifestyle. But guys, that wraps up my review. If you liked it, drop a like on the video, drop a subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.